Hello everyone, welcome in the last series of communication lectures. Yes, finally we are on the last platform and it's all about seven C's of communication. We are going to discover them with examples. I must tell you that seven C's of communication play very important, very prominent role in your communication, whether you are writing your, in your words or you are speaking in your words. So seven C's principles, uh, they are highly effective whenever you are communicating, right, in business aspects or in your formal writing styles. So what are they? Number one is complete, concrete, clear, courteous, concise, consider, correct. So all these are the seven C's of communication and they all start with a C letter. That's why they are called as seven C's of communication. All right. So we are going to discover them with examples. And I promise you that by the end of this video, you will have no confusion about any C of communication. All right. So number one is complete. What does it mean? As the name is quite self-explanatory, it explains you that you should provide all necessary detail while you are writing any letter or email or any official document. So you should provide the all types of necessary details or whatever the speaker or your, you know, yes, your sender has asked you to write about that. Answer all the questions asked so that whenever your receiver is reading your message, he will have no question regarding anything, right? So, he should a complete message. And he should not be in a confusion that, oh, I didn't have an answer to that question. And you can also give some extra detail when desirable. You think that your product information is not uh, sufficient which you have provided, so you should provide some detail as well. So your message can be complete. Now have an example on your screen. I'm writing to complain on my order, which I received was defective. No, this is not complete because you haven't provided him the order number. How are you, how, how is he going to track your order? How is he going to meet you the details of your order? So you should provide your order number. The green color statement is complete and the red color statement is incomplete right so you will follow the green color one then we have conciseness now what is conciseness hum kehte na ki yaar concise baat karo please to the point baat karo lambi mat karo right do not stretch the matter do not stretch with words do not play with words to the point okay so that's called you should eliminate wordy expressions and include only relevant material which has been asked to you you should not provide some unnecessary details which are even not asked which are undesirable right so your message will be concise so that your reader will be happy to read it so for example allow me to thank you on your response i must say it was very helpful yes i know it was very helpful why can't you say in a concise manner how about this one your last response was helpful. Thank you. That's it. Simple. Ek line ke jab ek baat complete ho sakti hai, to phir teen char sentences ko kyo use kiya jaye? Okay? Then, consideration. Hum aksa wish apne daily life ke andar use karte hai. Can you please consider my request? I need two days off only. I need to visit some place, actually. So that's called consider. Kya aap meri baat ko please consider kar sakte hai kya? Kya mujhe sun sakte hai aap? Right? So that's called. So, focus on you instead of I or V. I will give you a life lesson. Two things I will tell you. When you are talking to someone and you want that person to be impressed by you or you want that your communication should be effective. Simple. So, you have to follow two rules. Number one, you should know the name of that person. And if you don't know the name of that person, you should know the name of that person. So, that you should call the name of that person, then you will get more attention from that person. Right? And number two, you should follow this. Consideration. Yes. You don't have to talk about me, 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 me. You have to talk about you, you, you. Right? Focus on you instead of I or V. Show audience benefit and interest. You have to talk about them. 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 And you have to talk about them. I know that. Why? 
because they never listen they never accept they never consider you so you have to consider them aapne unki baat ke upar abanna sadakna kehna hai and you will say that ki yes bilkul aap theek keh rahe hain bilkul baja farma rahe hain aap yes bilkul aise hi hota hai yes ji ji bilkul bilkul aise hi hota hai theek hai like this so for example i will give you 10% discount we will deliver you what is this like i and we where is your customer aapne customer ko to consider kiya hi nahi to jab wo padhega to usko bura lagega how about this statement your parcel will be delivered at your doorstep your highness with 10% discount right how harsh is this this sentence really feels the reader feel himself right so that's called ji ji bilkul mujhe parcel milega okay mere doorstep pe with 10% discount hooray that's called your consideration right and then the concreteness comes concrete material kya hota hai thos राइट ठोस गजा होती है ना जैसे बच्चे को हम लोग तीन साल की उम्र में ढाई साल की उम्र में स्टार्ट कर देते हैं सरी लेक एंड देन यू नो ही कम्स अप इन दी एज एंड ऑल दैट सो कंक्रीट का मतलब होता है कि कुछ सॉलिड राइट फॉर एग्जांपल सीमेंट होता है ना दैट्स कॉल्ड द कंक्रीट मटेरियल जब वो सूख जाता है सो योर मैसेज शुड हैव कॉन्क्रीट डिटेल्स यूज स्पेसिफिक फैक्ट्स एंड फिगर्स हवाओं में बात नहीं करनी है राइट यू हैव टू से in facts and figures use vivid and image building words for example there are some example on your screen students exam scores are high ha are high kitna high right give us some figures give us an you know uh, jab bhi hum news wagera dekhte hain तो ऐसा नहीं होता कभी भी आपने न्यूज़ में नहीं सुना होगा कि आज का जो आ, ये जो हमारा वेदर है वो ज़्यादा हो गया है गर्म और बारिश का भी इम्कान है नहीं रेन प्रिसिपिटेशन इज ऑलवेज शोन इन फिगर्स एंड वेदर इज ऑलवेज शोन इन सेल्सियस राइट क्यों शो करते हैं बिकॉज दे वॉन्ट अस टू फील कॉन्क्रीट सो दस कॉल इन टू थाउजेंड स्टूडेंट्स एग्जाम स्कोर्स वर सिक्स greater than the last year or phir aage last year ke bhi aapko marks wagera bata diye so that's call your concreteness okay you will not ask your production department or your supply department that we want some syringes some how many uh some 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 how some some right so that will be very awkward so you have to use a concrete manner we want 500 syringes in emergency department that's called cool. clarity now what is clarity clarity clear hona message ka clear hona right choose precise concrete and familiar words this is the combination of two to three seven seas of communication actually construct effective sentences aapka message jab tak clear nahi hoga receiver nahi samjhega jab receiver nahi samjhega aapko wo reply nahi dega right so you will have no two way process of communication you will have only one way of process of communication that is actually not a communication then example remuneration is tarah ka word oh my god wo sunte ke sath hi bechare ko ho sakta hai ki angina wagaira ho jaye right so you should use income common word hai na sapne suna hai familiar word hai right domicile wo samjhega mera domicile mang raha hai right so you should use where is your home you will not say where is your domicile wo bolega it's in cupboard actually shall i send you the picture <laughs> no and then subsequent this is very catchy word by the way i always use it but 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 you uh, must not use it in a email or in uh, letters and instead of this you can use after right so use very familiar words kind of like that and then courtesy courtesy means respect your highness right so courteous your your message should be courteous right you should not be in a very blunt or rude manner be sincerely tactful thoughtful and appreciative use expressions and words that show respect right dear ma'am dear sir respectful and you can say sincerely so all these kind of things for example clearly you did not read my last letter how rude is this how impolite and disgraceful and disrespectful oh my god what a word <laughs> I am sorry sometimes my wording is precise let me try again for you dekhe yahan pe consideration bhi aa gayi yahan pe respect bhi aa gayi how cool this statement looks 
राइट right? और अगर फॉर एग्जांपल आपका रीडर या फिर आपका जो रिसीवर है वो थोड़ा सा यू नो प्रोटनेंट है थोड़ा सा बदतमीज है ही विल बी हैविंग इन अ काम सिचुएशन आफ्टर लिसनिंग योर यू नो वर्डिंग बिकॉज दे आर वेरी कर्टियस ओके सो दैट्स कॉल सो द लास्ट वन इज करेक्टनेस करेक्टनेस क्या होती है योर मैसेज शुड बी करेक्ट देर शुड नॉट बी एनी मिस्टेक देर शुड नॉट बी एनी sizable grammatical errors in your conversation it looks very awkward by the way so use correct right level of language proofread karna lazmi lazmi kara kare apne papers ko bhi apne emails ko bhi apne letters ko bhi apne messages ko bhi aapne aksar bachta note kiya hoga main mazey ki cheez bataunga aapko aap itna lamba chauda jab message ek type karte hain whenever you type any long message then you send it without proofreading it fir jab aap dobara se us message ko padhte hain meri tarah to तो आपको उसमें बहुत सारी गलतियां नजर आती होंगी का की के है हैं के इस तरह की सो वॉट इज दैट मीन सो यू नो करेक्टनेस वॉज मिसिंग ऑफ कोर्स मेरी कम्युनिकेशन में से सो आई शुड प्रूव रीड इट एंड यू शुड ऑल्सो सो मेंटेन लेजिबल एंड कैक्यूरेट ग्रामर फॉर एग्जाम्पल अवर बेसिक प्रिंसिपल्स आर अटैच इन दिस फाइल एंड द करेक्ट वर्ड इज अवर बेसिक प्रिंसिपल आर अटैच इन फाइल क्या फर्क है दोनों के अंदर स्पेलिंग मिस्टेक है बाबा प्रिंसिपल्स वो जो पहला वाला है दैट्स द स्कूल हेड और कॉलेज हेड राइट एंड द सेकेंड द ग्रीन वन प्रिंसिपल्स इज कॉल द उसूल द रूल्स एक्चुअली पीपल मेक अ लॉर्ड ऑफ दिस मिस्टेक एंड इट्स अ ड्रेटफुल वन आई वुड सेट सो दिस वॉज ऑल द सेवन सीज ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन इन पार्ट फाइव वी आर गोइंग टू हैव ए क्विज ऑन सेवन सीज फाइनली दैट विल बी द लास्ट वन सो आई मस्ट टेल यू दैट यू शुड गो एंड चेक दैट क्विज आउट एंड आई बी we will be actually doing it the consideration <laughs> you and i will be doing that quiz okay together with justification so thank you so much for watching informational please subscribe